Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. What are farmers doing to feed the planet? They're using Quadtrek technology, soil management, and planting systems from Case IH to foster a better growing environment that maximizes yield potential. Visit CaseIH.com to be ready. I got a great tip from a high yield corn producer at our Ag PhD Summer Field Day that ties into grading your planter's performance. I'll discuss it during today's Iron Talk. We've talked about net effective stand before. It means how well did your corn planter do singulating the seed, basically avoiding dropping doubles and triples, as well as how even was your emergence. If a corn plant comes up a week later than the plants on either side of it, it often becomes a weed rather than a viable and productive plant. Back to the field day. One of the corn growers on our high yield panel suggested that you should be in your field as corn plants emerge. Take red flags and mark the plants that emerged the first day, then come back out a day or two later and mark the plants that have emerged since the first time you were there with white flags. Finally, come back out and mark the last plants to emerge with yellow flags. Now the color of the flags really doesn't matter. The point is that you pay attention throughout the year to the performance of late emerging plants and make adjustments to your planter and to your whole agronomic program to get better emergence. Uneven stands really hurt your overall yield. Since I didn't look at emergence this way on our farm in the spring, I'm out in our fields right now looking at the consistency of our stand and the consistency of the size of the ears. When you see those smaller ears on your corn plants, there's a great chance that it stems back to uneven emergence and an error made either by you or your planter this spring. So get out and walk your cornfields before harvest. Look for unevenness and address it with your residue management system this fall and your planter set up an operation in the spring. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show. <laughs> 